Welcome to the tribe. We have been diving into some comedy again lately, so I appreciate you guys for being here for it. This is actually my first experience of Big J Okerson. I don't know who he is. I've never heard his comedy before, so let's just dive right in and uh, let's see what it's all about. Hey, that dude's handsome. Is that your boyfriend? Your husband? You guys look young. How long are you married for? Six years? Do you respect this guy, you think? Do you really? Do you deball him ever, or do you just give this guy his full <laughs> masculinity? Because I'm getting worried about feminism in the States, the real North America, down there. <laughs> women have, are going fucking crazy. Feminism's nuts. And by the way, that said, I'm all for feminism. I'm all for all the shit it brings. Equal pay, chicks become president, all that shit. But now you got to give men their shit back. Let us be men again. You don't respect us. It's in subtle ways. I found out recently my girlfriend has no respect for me in a casual conversation. We were talking with some buddies about UFC. You know what the UFC is? MMA, the cage fighting. We were talking about how a lot of those guys get arrested. They get in trouble for domestic violence. They beat their girlfriends and wives. And my girlfriend says to a bunch of other dudes, she goes, oh, yeah, that's why I would never want to date somebody like that. The kind of guy, like, if he just lost control, could, like, kick the shit out of you. And I was like, I could beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Are you with me because you think I can't beat the shit out of you? I just don't beat the shit out of you. I could beat you up just as fast as the UFC guy. I just don't. You think I can't? And how do I prove it now? I can't beat the shit out of her because I've made it a thing. Everyone's going to know it's me. I'm the first suspect. <laughs> we got to take the night back, fellas. That's what it is. This is your girlfriend, your wife. I'm off flight. Almost wife, fiance. Nice, I like you didn't say that though. <laughs> Claim your manhood. Do you respect him? Not anymore, Not anymore. really? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Yo, he didn't say fiance. She's like, nah, not anymore. We got to talk after this show. All that shit, man. Watch out for it. It's all the subtle, like, you ever ask a guy to do something and he's like, let me ask the boss or some shit like that? We're giving them too much. Start telling them what's wrong with them, fellas. That's what it is. We don't do it. You want to see confusion on a woman's face? You've been together six years. Do you know how many times this guy's had to slap toilet paper crumbs out of the crack of your pussy, never said a word to you about it? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Oh my God. I wasn't ready for that. Okay. It started off a little slow. I wasn't sure where he was going with it. This is great. This is absolutely great. <laughs> Never says a word. He just slaps him away. And you're looking back like kinky. And he's like, okay. <laughs> just slapping away. Cause you pee out of a slit. It's like putting your thumb over a faucet. It runs all down your butt cheeks and thighs. Then you wipe from behind like idiots, and you don't see any. There's toilet paper everywhere. I saw a girl recently had so much toilet paper in her pussy, I thought it was in a cast. It was just covered. I had to break her out of it with hammer fists. I was, I feel like Bill Murray at the end of Ghostbusters trying to get that girl out of the gargoyle statue. Don't get upset. I don't understand when people get upset at comedy, just get weird about it. I got booed recently for using the word tranny on stage. Tranny. I asked a hot chick if she was single, and she was like, yeah. And I said, why, are you a tranny? And the crowd was like, boo. And I was like, I'm just joking, everyone. This girl's not a tranny, or she's the fucking best tranny ever. <laughs> she's so hot. And they were like, no, it's not about her. It's gonna do. People don't care about each other. They just want to champion some shitty, dumb cause. And they go, no, you just can't say tranny anymore. Do you know that? You can't say tranny? I was unaware. I go, what do you say? They go, you have to say transgendered. And it's like, first of all, isn't tranny short for transgendered? You don't have to call me Jason every fucking day. But also as a comedian, like, you don't have to like, fucking like, we shouldn't be held to a standard as comics, entertainers, to have to like, choose the right terms. Listen to the hatred around words. Don't listen to the actual terms. Listen to the hatred, the sentiment behind things. That I like what he just said. I'm going to go bet that. I like what he just said. That is, the, that is the truth. There's another video that we just checked out where some woman 
She didn't even say a, a horrible joke that had anything to do with the transgender community, but somebody in the crowd yelled out, because he's a man, based on one of the jokes that was told. And then the, the comedian just mimicked it. He's a man. Like, not even saying that she 100% agreed with it. And people in the crowd got upset. No, she's a woman. And I, it, it, just, it just went left from there. They got up, stormed out, started, you effing transphobe, and all this other stuff. And it's just like, if it, it's just comedy. Comedy should not be a part of cancel culture. There's jokes about certain topics that I don't like, but it's 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 not for me to some suddenly just jump up and, and, and say, oh, you can't tell this joke. Like, it, it's like one of those things. If a comedian is talking about things you don't like, then that's just not the comedian for you. But comedy is there to make things funny. Things that are hot topics at times, things that might be sensitive. That is the whole point. There's times where they, they say jokes about certain communities and groups and stuff like that. And people within those groups and communities find it funny just because you don't or you're a part of that group and you don't doesn't mean that you can speak for everybody. So it's like I, I just I yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. And I like what he just said about don't listen to just the word that's being said that makes you upset and triggers you. Listen to the hate around it. If they're not actually throwing real legit hate and it's just a joke or it's just then just let it slide. It's come on now. This is what like this is like the one avenue we have left where it, it's things are funny. Just let us let us have this moment. Okay. <laughs> but also as a comedian, like you don't have to like fucking like we shouldn't be held to a standard as comics entertainers to have to like choose the right terms. Listen to the hatred around words. Don't listen to the actual terms. Listen to the hatred, the sentiment behind things. That's where the problem is, not in the words we choose to be funny or say the funniest thing. If I said all transgender people should be murdered because they're abominations of God, would you be like, well, at least he said transgender. <laughs> that was pretty cool. No, it's a horrible, horrible statement. Isn't it a way nicer thing if I go, hey, if nobody would find out, I would blow that tranny. I'd suck that chick's dick all night. And I'll call it a chick, whatever it wants. Just don't tell my friends, freak. <laughs> I have a daughter. I hope that scares you. <laughs> scares me. 13 years old now. This is a true story. This happened, and this is rough. But I want you to bear with me, because I want you to understand, this is rough for me, too. 13 years old, she stayed at my house like three weeks ago. Absolutely true. She was talking to me in the morning. I didn't realize she was changing clothes. I was looking at the door when I was talking to her. I saw inside for a split second, I saw her butt naked. And a split second, but it was tough, hard. Because, um, and there's no nice way to say this. <laughs> Full bush. <laughs> Full bush. <laughs> This little peanut who used to sleep right here on my chest. And when she was three years old, she had these nightgowns that went down to her ankles, and she'd go, Daddy, scared. Full muff now. <laughs> Disturbing. That's such an odd way to put it. Oh, my God. I don't know. That's just that's one of the jokes that definitely made me feel slightly uncomfortable. I didn't know where he was going with this. But okay, okay. And if you know my comedy at all, historically, I'm a Bush guy. No more. It's over. Girl pulls out a hairy Bush now. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? What am I, a pedophile? Get in that bathroom. Shave your pussy. You show up here with a full Bush like a child. Like a beautiful baby angel. You get in that bathroom and shave down, bald like an adult. Down, then against the grain, smooth like a woman, not a big, hairy, muffed kid. <laughs> Suck on that, Canada. Thank you guys very much. That was a wild last joke. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> that caught me off guard. That was a wild. Okay, well, that's Big Jay Okerson. Big Jay Okerson. I liked this, though. I did enjoy this, and I liked that one piece where he, he, he said what he said about the whole don't worry about the words that we're using as entertainers and stuff like that to make people laugh or to entertain people, whatever the case is. Worry about the things that are being said around it. And it was a really good point. Like if someone says a horrible thing, but they use the word transgender, does it suddenly make it not horrible because they use the word and term that you want them to use? No. 
Just the same as if they say something nice, but they use the term that you don't want. Like, just don't. It's it, there's no point in focusing on that. That's a great point. It's never gonna spread throughout the world the way that it should because people are gonna still get canceled and hated on for for all the craziest things, regardless of the fact that it, it's just weird to me because there's a lot of times where people are on the side of a specific group or specific people or whatever it is, but because they they disagree with one thing or use a certain term once or or ask a question suddenly they're they're labeled as the worst person in the world and that that's got to change in 2023 i don't know when this video came out this came out three years ago so that's that's cra and it's only gotten worse i think over the past three it's only gotten worse but uh yeah shout out to big j okerson shout out to desiree for stopping into my twitch stream while we were gaming the other day and actually telling me that i needed to check him out because i've never heard of him before so she is the reason that we are checking this out today so i do appreciate that let me know who else you guys want to see as far as comedians or specific bits and stuff in the comments because i am enjoying diving into comedy again we're definitely going to be doing all the other stuff on the channel still we'll still be doing some police reactions and you know as far as the traffic stops we'll still talk about you know up-to-date stuff like if something happens tomorrow i'm going to record it and try to get it out i'm going to try to be be more current with a lot of the stuff that we check out aside from you know like i said again some of the police reactions might be some videos from a year ago or some whatever i come across that seems interesting but as things happen in real time i'm going to try my best to get those up so we can have real-time discussions about it so i appreciate you guys i will catch you next video